Mobile suit in action. What can I say? It's one of my absolute favorite figure lines, especially when it comes to Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, I specifically love the Mobile Suit in Action Gundam Battle Scarred subline. Uh, as you can see, um, especially from this list as we go along, there's a lot of Battle Scards. Um, the Battle Scarred line was a subline of Mobile Suit in Action where they dinged them all up. Uh, gave him, like, battle-damaged accessories. Like, there's a version where, like, he's missing a leg, his shield's half cut out. Um, and there's tons of others, and you'll see some of these others in this video. Uh, but yeah, I want to talk about my ten favorite Mobile Suit in Action figures. Uh, because I love this line, and I wanted to make another Gundam video because you guys want to see more Gundam, and I want to try to make Gundam a more prevalent thing on the channel. I really have no excuse not to show Gundam because I love I love Gundam. I want to show it. We're going to show it. Anyways, number 10, I'm going to give to this guy because he's in the box. Uh, <laughs> and also, I just want to show him off first. This is the Battle Scarred RX-78 II. Uh, this is the classic Gundam. This is the original character. This is like the Luke Skywalker of Gundam. And uh, they made him battle scarred. And I think it's really cool. I love the presentation of him in the box. That's why I had to keep this carded. Because you can see all the accessories. He literally comes with every single accessory you could ever ask for. For a Gundam. Like an original classic uh, RX-78 II. Like he's got the core fighter shield. He's got the Gundam hammer. He's got the lance. He's got the beam rifle. The beam bazooka. He's got the beam saber. Uh, he's amazing. He doesn't... Oh, does he? Yeah, he does have two beam sabers. You also get two beam sabers. So he pretty much has every accessory you could ever ask for for a classic Gundam. And he's also dinged up. And he comes with interchangeable pieces where, like, he's missing an arm or a leg. And that's really sweet. Um, it's a really, really cool version of the character. Or the mobile suit, I should say. Number nine, I'm going to give to the last one I thought of putting on the list. But I had to. It's the, uh, I guess, the Dark the dark Beast, I guess is what you'd call it. Uh, it's technically the Dark Army. Because you can pop them off. Um, and you can give them, like, normal legs. So he's, like, Dark Army. But then, you fold him up. You pop him on these legs. And now he's, like, the Dark Beast. Yeah, G Gundam was a weird show, but I loved it. <laughs> and uh, I love this figure, man. Oddly enough, he is actually the same size, pretty much, as the 1144 figure. Uh, so if you want to actually fudge this guy into your 1144 collection, you can. Uh, me, personally, I just keep him without my MSIAs. But still, it's really cool. He's like the same size as the 1144 uh, Eldora Brute, too, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, he's just kind of a, a nice, big, chunky, beefy figure with multiple legs. Which is always fun. Always a treat. So, he's number nine. Number eight. Uh, this is where it's pretty much going to get random. Uh, up until, like, the last two. Because I really can't pick. Uh, number eight. Another Battle Scarred. The Battle Scarred Zaku 1. Uh, I just... I love the Zaku 1, man. This is one of the older MSIAs. So, he is kind of simply engineered. But still, I love his Battle Scar. Uh, his Battle Scarring. He's got a beat-up shoulder pad from where he did a, a rush. He's got a big old bullet hole in his chest. Uh, this probably is an inactive Zaku at this point. I love how this arm, the exposed arm, is uh, all mashed up. He's got some bullet holes right there in his, his skirt. Some of them, uh, they don't have fully unique sculpting. Like, those are pretty much the only newly sculpted parts. All the rest is reused from the basic version. But still, he's so cool. And give him a cool, unique accessory. <clears throat> and he's just a really unique piece in my Gundam collection. I love Zaku 1s too. I am, you'll see in this video, I'm very Zeon biased. <laughs> There's a lot of Zeon suits in this video. But yeah, I really love this figure. I don't really collect MSIA. I don't go after every single mobile suit. I collect Momo 44. That's what I mostly collect. But I've acquired a lot of MSIAs from uh, when I've kind of been collecting Gundam in general. And from when I was a kid. That is the case for the Strike Gundam in active mode. Uh, I actually had the active mode too, but I always preferred the inactive mode. I liked the all blue colors, and I still really love this figure. Uh, maybe one day I'll end up getting the uh, the real grade P Bandai version. Um, but for now, I I enjoy just having the uh, my old childhood MSI. He's so dirty and like yellowy, and <laughs> he's not pure white anymore. But that's he's my boy. Like, I, I love the head sculpt. I always, as a kid, admired that head sculpt so much. I don't know why. Something about it. 
I just, it just really appealed to me as a kid. I, I just, I kept looking at that head sculpt. I loved it. This was actually my Gundam growing up with, for my MSIAs. This was the only Gundam I had. All the others were other kinds of mobile suits. So that's kind of cool. Um, I still haven't watched Gundam Seed. Let me know, is Gundam Seed any good? I feel like I should watch it because the, the mobile suit, uh, the Strike Gundam, is really kind of near and dear to my childhood. I feel like I should watch the show. But I don't know, like, <sighs> we'll see. All right, there's number seven, I guess. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Yeah, seven. All right, number six. We'll give it to another... Uh, well, we'll switch it up. We'll give it to another Zaku. Uh, and this guy is the newer version of the MSI Zaku. I actually did a review on this guy if you want to check it out. It's in my Gundam playlist at the end of the uh, the video. But yeah, it's the newer mold, the more like superposable mold for the uh, the Zaku 2. He's like a paler green, and he's uh, definitely more aggressive looking. And he's got panel lining, and overall it's definitely an upgrade sculpt, uh, sculpt and mold and articulation wise. And it was actually my first MSI Izaku that I got when I was kind of starting to get into it. Because when I was a kid, I always wanted an MSI Izaku. And I found this guy for sale for like, I think it was maybe like 10, 15 bucks. And oh, there goes his, <laughs> there goes his ammo. That is on the floor now. Whoop, and I just bumped into the camera. <sighs> why do I have Siege Optimus Prime on the desk? I don't know, because he's cool, that's why. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, he's just a fun figure. Um, I didn't get all the accessories he came with, unfortunately, but that's all right. Yeah, I just, I really like him. He's fun to pose. He's got all the double joints. He's just, he's neat, and he's nice, and I like him. All right, next up, let's go on to another Gundam. I guess we're just going to alternate like that until the until the very end, which is pretty much coming up. So, Gundam Spiegel, or Shadow Gundam from G Gundam. I love this guy. <laughs> and it's cool that they made a battle scarred of him, because it's so cool that he's all battle scarred and messed up. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get him complete. I only have the hands where they've got, like, the handles in them. That's all right. Who cares? Because, I mean, look at that. How else would you want him besides either with his arms crossed or with his blades out? He is pretty poseable, too. He's my only Shadow Gundam figure I have because I never got around to getting the uh, the Master Grade. And I'm still holding out that maybe one day Bandai will revisit G Gundam for a, a high-grade range. But we'll see. But, yeah, he's really scarred up. They did a lot of new parts for him. And the funny thing is, I don't even remember Shadow Gundam getting this messed up in the show. Because Shadow Gundam was, like, the boss, you know. Because he's got a new chest, new shoulder pads, new skirt armor. He's got a new arm there. You can even see the, the jointing. He's got a new arm there. He's almost entirely unique besides, like, his biceps and his thighs and his feet. Um, he really has a lot going on. And I really, really think he's so cool. And he's just so posable, too. And then, come on, it's Shadow Gundam. Who doesn't love Shadow Gundam? All right, there's that one. Next up, let's just get out. Let's just get some more battle scards out of the way. Uh, this is actually my most recent MSIA added to my collection. And that's Easy 8 uh, from 08th MS Team. What can I say, man? It's Easy 8. I had to get the battle scarred. Now, unfortunately, he's not super battle scarred, not as much as I feel like he should be when it comes to the sculpt. He's got new shoulder pads, he's got a new uh, leg right there, and he's got a new chest. And, oh, I love his shield, too, all the bullets. But other than that, man, I feel like they could have done a little bit more for his uh, his battle scarring. Especially since he did get proper, proper messed up by the goof, mate. Uh, so, yeah, it would have been cool to see. But still, he came with a lot. He came with, like, the parachute pack... Came with pretty much all the accessories that you really ask for out of a, an EZ-8. And he just looks so aggressive, too. I love this mobile suit. And this version is just so weathered and messed up. I love it. Some people think that the weathering for Battle Scarred was too excessive. But me, personally, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. All right, next up, one more Battle Scarred. Then we're basically just going to get on to, like, my childhood stuff found this guy at the flea market uh he was actually there was a flea market booth with tons of gundam stuff just like all strewn about and i had to collect the parts from <laughs> the table to be able to physically build and complete uh wing zero custom battle scarred and i was initially like oh he doesn't have a shoulder pad but i mean he still looks cool but no he, he's supposed to not have the shoulder pad and the hip skirts and all that um he didn't come with these rifles these are actually from the non-battle scarred version I just gave it to this one because uh, my non-battle scarred has the uh, 
he's got the beam sabers. So I gave him the uh, the be the be the Buster rifles. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Yeah, I love all the damaging to the uh, the wings. Like, that is just so cool. Seeing, like, this angelic Gundam all messed up. The Wing Zero Custom is my favorite Gundam from the franchise. Uh, I think it's just so cool. I love the wings. I have, like, <laughs> I have the uh, the old HG-1100, the Master Grade, the Real Grade, the Perfect Grade. I'm getting the new Master Grade for Kaw. I got, like, two different kits of the SD. I've got the old SD figure. I've got the Gundam Universe figure. I've got this one. I've got the other MSIA. I've got a lot of Wing Zero custom, <laughs> and uh, it's probably not going to stop, because I just, I like the mobile suit too much. Yeah, he's just really cool. I mean, look at his face. Look at how messed up his face is. That is just so gnarly. I love it. All right, last two. Um, let's talk about uh, my childhood want. Uh, this is the most wanted figure from my childhood, this right here, the, uh, the camo Zaku from Mobile Suit in Action. And actually, I guess I can show it because it's just in reach. Um, this guy, <laughs> he was like 60 bucks when I was a kid. And I found this guy in a big old lot. And now I have a carded one that I got for like five bucks. So yeah, um, kind of surreal that I have it carded and loose, given how much of a holy grail it was for me growing up. But you know what, man? You know what? I have it now, and that's what makes life great. You can make yourself happy with money. <laughs> that You're so shallow and hopeless, Adam. I know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is a really cool figure. I love the deco. I love the design. It really makes me mad that they made a robot Damashi of this guy, uh, but it was an, a super rare exclusive that's super expensive, so I couldn't get it to add it to my Womo 44 collection. But honestly, just having the MSIA, just, it, it keeps him special. It keeps him special, but still, I love this design. I'd love to have it in my Momo 44 main collection. So yeah, he's just a really cool Zaku, dude. Um, he's the older mold, so he's not nearly as poseable and, uh, you know, fighty, cool action pose as the uh, the newer version right there. But still, he can he can throw some shapes, as some people say. But he is a pretty basic action figure. I mean, come on, he's he was from like what the late 90s, early 2000s. I'm pretty sure is when that mold came out. So yeah, there's there's him. And then the piece de resistance, the cream of the crop. My absolute favorite mobile suit and action figure. I have to give it up to my favorite childhood Gundam action figure, the Giradoga. Ah, the Giradoga. This guy has been through a lot of adventures with me, and I somehow kept him complete. <laughs> Don't ask me how. I was really careful not to lose any of his weapons and accessories. Um, so yeah, I love him. He is so cool. I did lose the, I did lose the magazine. Leave me alone. Uh, he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the, uh, the, that to the rifle anymore, but who cares? Yeah, he's still got his beam rifle and his tom, or his, uh, rifle tomahawk and you know, all the missiles and everything. He's just such a fun figure. When I was a kid, I didn't know he was called the Giradoga, so I just called him Green because he was green. That was like his character name. And he was like the brother of my brother's uh, MSIA desert goof. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. That was a cool little like backstory they had. But yeah, I just loved the feel of this figure. He was a, such a fun toy for me growing up. And uh, this guy is probably, this single figure is probably one of the biggest reasons why Gundam is such a significant franchise to me now. Because I fell in love with this toy so much as a kid that as an adult, I just really wanted to get more into it. And I did. And I love it. Uh, Gundam's great, man. It really is great. I love Gundam. I love Mobile Suit in Action. I don't collect Mobile Suit in Action like I do Womo 144. Um, honestly, this list wasn't super easy to make because they don't have too many to choose from. But still, really awesome collection. These are my top 10 personal favorites in my collection. Definitely not the best. There have been some pretty remarkable mobile student action figures I've made throughout the years. Uh, I don't have nearly any of those. But these are my personal favorites in my collection. Some of the ones that mean the most to me, some of the ones I think are coolest. Obviously, since the list is like half Battle Scarred, you can tell I love the Battle Scarred line. I think that line is just absolutely awesome. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Another Gundam video said and done. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.